I therefore call this the Water Scroll, in which I write about the long sword system of this individual school. The state of mind should remain the same as normal in ordinary circumstances as well as when practicing martial arts. Let there be no change at all, with the mind open and direct, neither tense nor lax, centering the mind so that there is no imbalance. Calmly relax your mind and savor this moment of ease thoroughly. Even when still, your mind is not still, even when hurried, your mind is not hurried. The mind is not dragged by the body. The body is not dragged by the mind. Pay attention to the mind, not the body. It is imperative to master the principles of the art of war and learn to be unmoved in mind, even in the heat of battle. In wielding the longsword, the thumb and forefinger grip lightly. The middle finger grips neither tightly nor loosely, while the fourth and little fingers grip tightly. There should be no slackness in the hand. The longsword should be taken up with the thought that it is something for killing opponents. Even though you may catch, hit, or block an opponent's slashing sword, or tie it up, or obstruct it. All of these moves are opportunities for cutting the opponent down. This must be understood. If you think of catching, think of hitting, think of blocking, think of tying up, or think of obstructing, you will thereby become unable to make the kill. It is crucial to think of everything as an opportunity to kill. 